What's up? This is HG News. So I can't understand why this will be in the title as well. Probably. Um, why I'm losing subscribers. I was gaining a lot and I lose one every now and then. He comes back. It's like I can't always do certain things. I cannot order the things. I'm on. Um, I got like a 40 hour week or 37 hour week of late shifts. <clears throat> Got to help the parents. I got to do things. And, you know, I can't spend things online. I can't buy nothing online unless for permission. I had the money in. Mostly the most important thing is I have money for my health, which is really expensive. You don't know my hemophilia. History of bleeding. <clears throat> things are not set in stone. They're, they're not, you know, there'll be times when if I had the money, I had to still ask for permission, and still I could get denied, and even if I bought something online, I would lose my credit card for good. I wouldn't be able to connect to you guys on the internet. That's for one, because um, they only have me have 50 a week, and then, you know, I can't pay the internet on that. You know, it's 60 up and 55 you know, $60 I have to take. So, you know, there's things I can't do, okay? And that's the number one thing. Can't cook. Not allowed to use a knife or anything like that. Because of the history of bleeding and um, autism. So, you know, it's what it is. Um, it's just unfortunately how my life is. How I was born and still am. But still hanging on. My ears are bugging me. I got that kind of thing in my ears where it kind of had stuffed up a little bit. It's my allergy season. It's the fall allergies. Fall allergies are coming in. The ragweed is. So I'm having to get used to it. You know, trying to fight some of it off. I mean, it's not as it used to be, but my nose here every now and then. Yeah, I was born with a lot of allergies, and I was <laughs> when they start pollinating, I start having trouble, and I'm having to cut back on the salt and. It's going to be a lot to learn. I mean, I'm going to have to cut back. Try to. And no really any McDonald's. But, you know, I can't have any more like potatoes. Anything like that. The grunts I'm growing. I'm going to have to spare those. Because I can't, can't eat them because the medicine. It's got potassium in it for the water pill. To flush out my sodium levels. Because my, I guess my kidneys don't work 100%. They still work. But they, um. I might have a little trouble. It's in the family history. I had high blood pressure since I was young. It's actually genetic. Mine went up naturally without doing nothing. I just, that's how mine was. They had tested me with the thing around my arm for like at least a couple of days, constantly on, taking my, you know, pr pressure every hour or so. And yeah, it came back. They took the thing off. They found out I had high blood pressure for sure. It was higher than normal. And it's, it was in my family traits to have this kind of illness as well as kidney probably you know it's a possibility that I'm trying to shake all this salt off every time I have a roll it's like that was in sodium okay so I just had ones I need to I'm trying to cut back soda I definitely cut back a lot I lost some weight I'm fitting I'm fitting in some of the vests for the cart pressures easier for the extra large, instead of a 2X, at least, I lost that much weight. Um, staying away from McDonald's, you know, eating waffles. That kind of kills my stomach every now and then with all the sugar and the richness. That's just how my stomach is. It's not <laughs> always strong. Even if it's strong, there's always a chance of it not taking the food and just seeing it straight down and having to go to the bathroom quite quickly, actually, in the next hour or so. So yeah, or a couple hours. My stomach is not always, sometimes lettuce did it over the weekend. It did. I had to really just go to the bathroom when the cars were full. And I was the only one working, you know, pretty much. So yeah, some salads, some foods bug my stomach and send me to the bathroom. That's all it does. Sweets back then, like uh, muffins, like, you know, those, not muffins, but... You know, those donut hoes on those bakery, you know, high sugar cupcakes, you know, that was bugged me in the past. That same the bathroom because the 
richness of the food. I don't think it was that bad whatsoever, but I do have a stomach that can turn on certain foods. Not always, but there's always a chance where my body just can't digest it and has to send it through the bottom with the rest of the food I eat during the day or a couple of days. So it's annoying. Can't always eat the most simplest thing, you know, that's healthy. That technically is not good for my stomach for family reasons of history. And I can't get tested for that because I had that factor. And one, and one thing, I had to be off work for like a week or more because of the bleeding. If I had any kind of way to them look up there, they had to go up myself and then had to get off of, you know, so many foods, not clear my stomach. And, uh, yeah, they had to test you, a, test you a couple of ways. And since they would be doing that, I would have that factor, which is really expensive. Depending on your weight. If I lost weight, it won't be as bad. It'd be half the price, at least, probably, of what it is now. Because that one night I was in the hospital, it was over $8,000 a factor. To keep my face from getting worse, from it bleeding more and going into my eyes and ears and brewing them and... It kept it away from that 100%. And I've still got vision pretty good. The same vision as I did last year or more. You know. It is blurry with the... Uh, I am. I do have bad vision. I always had it since I was older. <clears throat> but not until my, like, my or, or, uh, older 20s, you know. <clears throat> you know. If you don't even know what that sound is, that's actually... It's got an acid reflex or something that my throat has to break up. It's just wherever I eat, I have to break it up. Wherever it is, we're not sure what it is. It's a family history trait of my mom's father. And it wasn't Pearl's nasal drippage. He looked at mine. The same as my mom's father. There was none of that. I just had the symptoms of it. And <clears throat> it really gets, you can see, you can hear how thick that is. I been having a lot of this. I've usually in the past get really gaggy. I mean, I really like it. I don't want to take asthma as or any kind of other drink or anything because it's so bad. So yeah, I had that all my life. I eat a lot of cheese. That's gonna hit me eventually. If I'm lucky, I'll get spared. Not very often do I get that. Um, yeah, it's it's annoying. I'm definitely one who doesn't like. Big ag for sure, that's for one. It's horrible. <coughs> See, my body's trying to break it up. It bothers my dad really bad, and it really does. It could be as a reflex, but I bought some medicine, and I was like, I was out of it. I need to take, you know, buy the Walmart generic of, uh, Zantac, the 150 mm ring, I guess that's what I take, and I should take Nassim as well. I'll probably pick that up tomorrow once I get paid. I do have a $3 coupon I can uh, print it out over the weekend, and I'll just cut it out. I already cut it out, so I just got to insert it, you know, scan it, insert it into the machine, and I'm done with that coupon, basically. I'm going to start using coupons. I mean, there's not always everything I can get. We're trying to get an app, trying to get permission first for iBots about her bill being getting locked out in the early part of the year. And then their account's being deactivated, so I'm technically trying to find a way to save money more with receipts. That is solicited for the Better Business Bureau, the BBB, you know. Um, because apparently they have so many complaints that their accounts seem to get deactivated permanently and locked beforehand uh constantly it seems like the friend their account and they'll get locked out because the, the the system locking their account and then uh their account being deactivated so i'm technically i don't really want to sign up for that it's not worth the money to spend so much get rewarded some people had over a hundred dollars in there and they're locked out for good and a lot of them are lying, and I, I gotta show the where the liars are, because they are making false things, and I would probably catch them too. You know, they were using them like they should, or else they won't let you do it. 
So technically, I'm not a fan of that. I thought maybe this would be good at. Okay, never mind. It's bad. It's not worth it. Totally not worth it. <laughs> yeah, I got some humor with me too. Trust me. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like below. Let me know how I'm doing this channel, how good I'm doing. Thanks for watching.